The legacy of Dwight Davis has lived in the world's most prestigious team's tennis event for more than a century. The competition that embraces the tennis world like no other. On a spring weekend in Melbourne, the greats have gathered at an arena named after one of the greatest. Australia, led by a man who has won both the Wimbledon and US singles crowns. Switzerland, led by a man who is the current Wimbledon singles champion. Hewitt, Philippousis, Woodbridge and Arthurs, led by Fitzgerald, carry Australia's hopes. Federer, Crattockville and playing captain Marc Rosset, the hopes of Switzerland. At stake, a place in the final. Welcome to the Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne for Seven's exclusive coverage of the World Group semi-final of the 2003 Davis Cup. Yes, we've had a very, very exciting start to the day and it promises to continue into the night. Let's go back to early today and Leighton Hewitt was in exciting form. He probably wasn't at his brilliant best in his first two sets against uh, Michel Crotocqueville, but this is match point. And in the third set, he really did uh, put the old foot on the accelerator and was home in straight sets, giving Australia an excellent start. A nudge and a wink from Fitzy saying, uh, from an Australian point of view in the semi-final, we are away. Hewitt taking just under one and a half hours to defeat Crotockville. 6-4, 6-4, one Let's have a look at the squads for this tie because uh, the Swiss have got a lot of work to do and only a couple of players to do it. On the other hand, Hewitt has done his job. Now it's up to Mark Philippoussis and then Wayne Arthurs and Todd Woodbridge. If they play nearly as well as they have done in the past, particularly at Malmo, Australia is looking very good. Federer is carrying a very, very heavy load. He's playing two singles and the doubles. He's going to team with the team captain, Mark Rosset, in the double so they'll be hoping to keep Switzerland in the mix as far as this semi-final tie is concerned remembering of course that the winner has a home final and plays either Argentina or Spain. Leighton Hewitt successful early today and he has no doubt as to who holds the key to this tie. Yeah Mark's going to go out there and, and obviously the way that Roger's playing at the moment um, he's probably a slight favourite you know beating him in the last match they played at, at Wimbledon final in straight sets he's going to be a tough match for both guys um, if Mark can get through that one though it's really going to open up the door. Nice to welcome Jason Stoltenberg, a former coach, former Davis Cupper, former Wimbledon semi-finalist now behind the good old seven Mike. Um, Leighton did the job. He wasn't uh, emphatic, but he was good enough to get through in straight sets. There's probably more in the tank. Uh, it's been an interesting day, hasn't it, because the weather has played a major part. Yeah, it's been a bit of a scrappy old Melbourne day. I think it's probably the worst conditions you could probably have for tennis, showers on and off. But uh, you know, it's been difficult for the players, too, to know when they're going to play indoors, they're going to play outdoors, when they're going to start. Just having a look at the forecast, we are expecting a few showers. As a consequence, the roof, as you can see, has been closed. So the roof will remain closed for this next match in its entirety. And I think that's a, an important factor and probably one that uh, the Swiss would fancy. Yeah, they would. They've grown up playing indoors, whereas Australia generally playing outside, used to the windy conditions probably. I think it would have would have helped us a little bit to play outside, but I think Mark with his big serve, I really don't think it's going to make much of an impact. It may actually help Mark to be indoors as well. I wonder if head-to-head -head tells us a story because... Uh Federer has a slight edge and of course with that Wimbledon victory in straight sets so Federer leading 3-1 as far as head to head is concerned and we know and we don't need someone like Mark Rosset to tell us but uh, the depth uh, of the Swiss side is a problem. It's, uh, I've just like the last four or five days I think he won this both singles match without losing a set and he beat a guy like Kafelnikov and Safin on clay in Russia. He beat, uh, Escudé and, uh, and Santoro, but uh, I mean, Wallo, you know, very good player in the Davis Cup, and uh, so it all depends on him. I mean, we don't have like uh, five, six players like maybe Australia, like uh, France, so I mean, it all depends on Roger, so it's a lot of pressure for him. And a deafening roar here as Mark Philippoussis comes out onto the court, followed by his captain, John Fitzgerald. 
It's a full house. It's a wonderful atmosphere. The roof is closed. The place is rocking. The fanatics are ready. And so too is Mark Philippus. And importantly, Jason, playing in his first Davis Cup tie at home here in Melbourne. Yeah, that's right. He really feeds off the crowd here in Melbourne, gets tremendous support. I think it, it's a tough one to pick, though. I'll tell you what, these you're looking at, looking at two of probably the most talented players you know, on the tour today, and uh, we're hoping for a, for a cracker here tonight. Let's go and buckle ourselves in the bunker. You get ready at home because this is going to be a clinker, and it's coming up right after this break. Express yourself. Express yourself. You don't never need help from no 